Let's cut to the chase. The secret is out. Yes, my first designer bag is from Fendi Philippines. If you want to know my backstory and what led us to this brand, check out my past vlogs and videos on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at Misinformation Vlogs or Misinformation blog this vlog is all about fendi philippines and our experience shopping at this store check out my unboxing vlog very soon you'll see it first on tiktok i'm actually eyeing for this bag for years already and i haven't had the opportunity to buy it before since i don't really have the chance to look around plus the fact that it's not really my priority now that we're ready to buy a designer bag, we've been very cautious and we made sure that we'll buy from a CA who will take good care of us. So we visited a lot of brands and I'm telling you, I experienced all the good and bad customer service possible. I'll share more details with you soon, so please don't hesitate to follow me. Now, when it comes to customer service, we're looking for a CA who is not awkward, who won't look at us from head to toe, and not judge us based on how me, my husband, and my children look. Also, believe it or not, how the cards treat us matter as well. It is hard-earned money. Hindi kami kumukuha ng pamana sa aming mga magulang. That is why it really matters na maayos ang serbisyo makukuha namin from the brand. Just a tip, never ever buy a bag online. As much as you can, try it out, check out the stock, and see for yourself if the bag suits your personality and lifestyle. I realized that a lot of my decisions change once I try out the bag. And I really appreciate the CAs who actually initiate and tell me to try out the bag. Another tip, check if the bag's price actually decreased over time. It is not a good sign. It means the bag will depreciate in time. And this is why I love Fendi. They don't decrease their prices. In fact, the very reason why I'm not including the prices here in this video is because they're about to have a price increase. Fendi has staple designs. You just have to choose what print or color or hardware you'd rather have. Why Fendi? Well, aside from the fact that the CA I talked to is really nice and friendly, and without hesitation assisted us really well with a smile and gave us tons of tips i love that she's so genuine and sincere i can finally see myself growing old with this brand ito na yung point ng buhay ko na inaasam asam ko since i was in my 20s and i couldn't ask for more i'm really grateful to my husband for helping me reach all my dreams. Thank you, hubby. So why Fendi? It is an underrated brand. Not everyone has it. Everyone has LV and everyone dreamt of having an LV. I did before. But if everyone has it, I don't want it. Also, I find their designs very classy and it's very rare for you to see an imitation of a Fendi bag. Though in all seriousness, my first fake bag before was from Fendi. And that is why I never ever want to buy a monogram design. Another tip, check out the displays in the store. Before buying a bag, check out how the bag looked like in the display that's how your bag will look like after years and i must tell you 
I did my best to research, check out the displays, trying to find baho for Fendi bags, and I did not see any. Even the displays are really good. How was the shopping experience? It was really good. There were some customers who go in and out, but we really had some privacy. In all honesty, there was a time that I'm sabog and I'm contemplating if the decision is right, if I forgot something, and I really did my best to make sure that we did the right thing and that the decision is really right. I unfollowed a lot of Filipino celebrities and influencers. I don't want to be influenced by them anymore. If I want to buy something, it's because I decided to do it, not because they influenced me to buy it. To my surprise, after buying this Fendi bag, I saw my CA posted about heart with her Fendi bag. Whew, I didn't know. What I enjoy the most in this experience is that we had an opportunity to go inside the VIP room and take photos inside. If there's one thing I regret, I regret not trying out their shoes and coats because I swear I really love to try them out. Their CAs really gave us some privacy while they're packing my bag inside the box. I appreciate that they allowed me to try out some bags and take photos of the bags I would love to purchase next time around. Plus, I was able to see bags that are not displayed anymore. I love them so much. And that is why another tip, always ask if they have bags that are not displayed anymore. Because most of the time, those are the best bags, I'm telling you. Do you have a guess by now which one did I buy? <laughs> I swear I'm gonna buy a bucket anytime soon. I swear. Work, work, work. If you're wondering why we're wearing something casual, it's because we don't really intend to buy a bag. We just came from the hospital. We're supposed to meet my in-laws. And this is not planned. It's my husband who really wants me to buy one. And I'm just grateful. And I know it's a perfect timing already. We've been waiting for this for so long. And cheers! hobby finally we have a designer bag my win is his win and vice versa dream together for each other and this is one of our dreams that finally came true thank you lord to god be the glory thank you boys for being patient and so behaved while mommy and daddy are shopping also to our CA, I want to say thank you for making this shopping experience for a designer bag worthwhile. It is very memorable because of you and your whole team. We appreciate you all so much. I know our worth should not be drawn in the brands that we wear or have. But at the end of the day, God loves to spoil his children as well. If you have the chance, go buy that bag. Buy it for yourself, not for anyone else. Until next time. Connect with me on Facebook, DM me on Instagram, or learn more about me on my blog, misinformation.blog. See ya!